it is bright and sunny out here. I'm over here in Missouri at this little truck stop, Phillips 66. But I don't think this is Phillips 66 though, but still a nice little truck stop right here. Lots of parking, lots and lots of parking. There's a petrol across the street and there's another truck stop across from, across from there that has plenty of truck parking. Uh, but look, look at here, y'all. There's a lot of questions that you guys have when you come into the game. And you got a lot of YouTubers out here that's telling you who to go with, why to go with them, and for, you know, for different reasons. You got some of them that comes on and get with a company and be like, yo, this company is the best thing since sliced bread. Come on and get with us. Get with this company so that uh, so that I can get the referral bonus. Yes, that is a good idea because times change. You know, back then and st back then and still to this day, to get to know about a company that you want to get with, you talk to the drivers. You know, you 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 go to the truck stops. You you see drivers in the fuel station, in the in the truck stops, where they eat, where they make, where they where they migrate, where they get together, and you you talk to the truck driver about their company and be like, yo, what's up with uh Hogan? What's up with um? Transport America. What's up with uh, Wilson's Transportation? What's up with them companies? What do you like about them? Why you drive for them? How long you drive for them? How much you make an hour? Well, how much you make per mile, but there is some trucking companies that run by the hour too, so and you talk to them and they'll, they'll chop it up with you, but in the age of digital uh, social and all this other stuff social media you know you you don't ask drivers no more you don't get their opinions no more you go to places like facebook you go to the facebook groups you go to the twitter you go to youtube and you have youtubers like me what's up y'all lockout man that's me look i just want you guys just to get the best information out there possible for whatever trucking company that you're going to give me. Now, I wish that I asked these same questions that I asked during my make the call videos, and maybe I probably would have made a better choice, but it was all about, for me, it was all about just getting in, getting in where I fit in and get my experience. Now that I got my experience, I could talk about it. And now that I got all sorts of questions from veterans, from new you, I mean from new guys and stuff like that, I could put it all together and ask these recruiters those questions that you want to ask or you want to know. Now, some recruiters out here don't want to talk about what you have on your mind. Basically, they're they're there to get you in the seat. Now, some of them may not know much about the company's history. They only know enough just to entice you to get in. But still, ask the questions because they will have to look it up for you. Those are the questions that you want to know. You want to know about these companies. So, with that said, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I appreciate you guys subscribing and 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 just look towards you know look towards me and other drivers like me for information for yourself when you come on out here. You know what I'm saying? So with that said, let's get into the video.
Yo, what's going on, y'all? Lockout Men makes the call for you. Yes, sir, for you. So in today's call, man, of course, a lot of them, a lot of these calls come from suggestions from guys like you. Today's call is from a subscriber. And let me see if I can bring him up. All right, so this call is requested by Meg Quaid. Meg Quaid? Meg Quaidi. <laughs> Meg Quaidi. I hope I pronounced your name. I did. I hope I pronounced your name right, bro. If I did, good. If I didn't, let me know in the comments below. You asked and you said, can you do R and L? Well, yes, I can do R and L. Uh, I went and did a little background check on them. I found out that they are an Ohio-based company. Actually, I passed them up on 70 all the time. And yes, I do see their trucks on a regular basis. So I'm not sure if this company is like an LTL company, an expedited company, or an over-the-road company. I don't know. Let's let's get into it, all right? The company culture. r &L Carriers was r L Carrier started as a family business in 1965, and while we might have grown in size over the last 50 plus years, our values haven't changed. We seen we see each employee as a member of our family. Family. I like that word. Family. They they throw that out a lot. We believe that. By providing a unique array of exciting opportunities, service, and program, we offer a work environment that is fun, challenging, and miles ahead of our competition or competitors or competition. Y'all know what I mean. To learn more about the story, I mean, about our story and history, click here. Well, we, we don't need to know too much about them. So here, I'm not sure what they actually offer. Their website really don't give uh, too much information about what they offer as far as uh, lanes, how much, how much the CPM is and stuff like that. So since we can't find that, we are gonna go ahead and make the call. But be first, before we make the call, I have found uh, on the safety administration that they're located out of Marblehead, Ohio. But I'm not sure if that's exactly right. But I know that they are in Ohio base. Uh, number of vehicles is 30. Number of drivers is 25. So you might have a chance of getting in good with this company. So after finding all that good stuff out, let's give them a call. Recruiting. This is Andrea. Oh, Andrea. Okay. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are I, you? I guess the uh, first young lady wasn't recruiting. I guess, huh? Okay. okay how can I help you? Uh, yes. Uh, my name's Sean, and uh, you know, I'm I'm from a Facebook group. Tongue tied there. I'm from a Facebook group, and I see you guys trucks out here all the time. Um, I'm kind of curious to know a little bit more about the company. Uh, are you guys expedited oh uh, we do have an expedited group yes oh okay okay um can can i learn a little bit more about that about the expedited yes ma'am i mean i want to know about the company as a whole but expedited uh i see a lot of these straight trucks out here and a lot of the drivers that i have come in contact with usually they say they uh they run teams and I, I think I understand the reason why you guys do that because because of the time sensitive freight. But I was just wondering, like for like companies that do they do solo as well for expedited? Yes, we do. Um, I don't, I don't even, I don't know a lot about the expedite. I mean, I just do. We do like direct hiring in my area. Okay. Um, I could get you to the group that handles the expedite. Um, they would know, of course, more about it if you want to hold for me. I, like I said, we just do the direct tires in my department. Well, do you? Okay, so you, you, so you will probably be the person that I could talk to as far as general questions about the company, then, right? I mean, I mean, are you trying to be? Or what are you trying to do? I mean, what's your goal? 
Uh, well, my goal is just to, to drive for us. Or? Yeah, my goal is just to get as much information uh, about the company as I can. Uh, well, where are you calling from? I'm from Ohio. Okay, like, are you you want to be a driver with us? Yes. Okay, what kind of questions do you have? Okay, so now I I see here, and I I went on the website. It's nowhere on the website that tells us anything about uh, the experience level that you guys require. Do you guys do sp um Do you guys uh, do sponsored schooling, or do you guys take drivers straight out of out of driving? Uh, um, we, if you've been with us for more than a year, um, working with us, mm -hmm. there are times that we offer programs that will assist you if you want to get your CDL. Oh, okay. So you guys do more but we than do just not sponsor. Oh, okay. So you guys yeah. do more than just uh just for for driving positions, right? Yeah, we have dock, we have office. Oh, I mean, okay. All types of Warehousing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Um, so you guys, do you guys hire? I know you guys is from Ohio, but do you guys hire drivers from other states? Yeah, we have terminals in almost every state, so. Oh, okay, okay. Um, is there a sign-on bonus? No, n not right now, not in Wilmington, no. Oh, okay. Now, it's... Yeah, it depends is, on where you're at. Is there a sign... That, yeah, is there a sign-on bonus for drivers? Like I said, it depends, it depends on where you're at. Oh, okay. So if I'm out of, if I'm out of Ohio, would there be a sign-on bonus for me? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, for pre-employment drug testing, do you guys require uh, hair follicles or is it urine base? I mean, what? I mean, are you are you wanting to be a driver with us? Yes. Or are you from a company? No, I'm no, I'm a driver looking for a position. Okay. That's why I'm yeah, asking we do the question. Not, we only um, do the uh, the urine. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so let me ask you this right quick. So for for me to come in for me to come in with the company before I go to orientation uh would it be would it be set up for as me to take care of all my pre-employment stuff like uh like drug testing uh no, uh we pay for that yeah but that's what I'm saying do do we do do we do it before we come in for orientation oh, or is it done yeah. during orientation? No, it's done prior, prior to your hire. Okay. Okay. So can we go to like our doctor and get it done and you guys will pay for it? No, no. Uh, it has to, to be to one of our doctors. One of your doctors. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So if I have my DOT medical card already, do I have to, do I have to get another one with you yes. guys? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so you guys, what would be the, what would be the requirement to come in? How many, how many years of experience you guys require for drivers to come in? Um, I mean, we do take students right out of school. Um, but we, you would start as an entry level driver where you would work on the dock and drive until you get your experience in and we feel you're safe. Oh, okay. Okay. So you guys have trainers there that will train young drivers that comes out of school? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and they're not just young drivers; they're just new drivers. Well, yeah, yeah well, you know, new jacks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, what's your policy on felons? What's what's your policy? Um, on it has to be over ten years from the release date if you were uh, incarcerated. Okay, so would you guys consider yourselves felon friendly? Mm, I I can't answer that question. Okay. How about how about drivers that has uh, DWIs or D, DUIs on their on their records? It has to be over five years, and you have to have the uh, um, the class that you would take to. Uh, I forget what it's even called. <laughs> so, yeah, you would have to take a class. Oh, so. through you guys? Oh, through through you no, guys? No, not through us. No. Oh, okay, okay. Uh. Wow, that's that's a first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a first. But yeah, a lot of a lot of these guys that's in the Facebook group be asking questions like, you know, uh, can they get in if they have a DUI or a DWI on their record and stuff like that. So, uh, 
what's the uh what's the what's the cpm what's what's the cpm starting for a new driver that's what's coming the CPM? in cpm uh miles per cent per mile uh we don't pay by the mile we pay by the run for line hall we pay by the hour for city okay okay what can you tell me the amount um it just depends on where you're at every terminal is different so if i'm coming in the ohio terminal where would i be? we have more than one ohio terminal okay let's take an ohio terminal as an example so where where would i be i'm a four-year driver so where would i be as far as starting um it, they the city and the line hall both average 50 to 55 thousand a year starting out oh, okay okay mm -hmm. so you say you guys got terminals all all over is it so we run all yep. 48 states if your team yes what about solo drivers uh they're i mean they're home every day if you're a line hall or a city driver oh, okay okay for scales and tolls uh do we get reimbursed for that um we have like a quick pass or whatever easy that we pass. Would use. okay mm -hmm. uh do you guys require hazmat yes we do hazmats doubles triples and tankers do you guys do you guys require a driver to have all of them yes we do okay now let me ask you this as for as far as a driver that don't have them would you guys reimburse a driver to get them while working through what you guys only the hazmat yeah uh, if you uh, get hired with us mm -hmm. and uh, you get your hazmat you know you have the receipt to work with us and you get hired we would reimburse you okay. but only if you're hired okay What's uh what's your pet and rider policy? Um, w with uh the teams only. Um, we do have a pet policy, but no rider. Oh, okay, and as far as solos go, ne e neither or. I mean, if you're a systems driver, which is like a team by, by yourself, yes, mm -hmm. you can have a, but no dr no riders. Oh okay, okay, okay. Uh, now you just mentioned that we're home every day it just depends we have different types of drivers we have line hall that's home every morning usually they run at night mm -hmm. we have city that's home every evening they do pickups and deliveries to our customers mm -hmm. we have systems drivers they are by themselves out five home two and we have team drivers that are you know a team out five home two all right so the system driver is that a soul is is he solo or he's team yeah and a sleeper oh okay okay all right so now, do the system driver drive all 48, or do y'all have, like, routes? Yes, wherever, yes, you would go wherever we needed you to go. Okay. So this would be so this will be a force dispatch company? A what? Force dispatch? No. Oh, okay, so if I don't want to go up in the Northeast or New York or California, I'm not subjected to go there if I, I don't, don't know anything to. about force dispatch. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. What did, I'm not a dispatcher. I'm in recruiting. <laughs> okay, but would you? All right. So, but being that the drivers do run all 48 uh, states, um, would you would you know that any driver that do go up in the in the Northeast that has refused? Uh, I don't know anything about it. Like I said, I'm a recruiter. I don't do anything with dispatching. Okay. Okay. Uh, that would be discussed in an interview if you put in an application. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, the home time. So is so for the systems driver that's out five home two. Um, what's the what's the what's the longest that I could take off? I know if I'm home uh, two, I'm, but like I said, I'm a recruiter. I'm not in dispatch, and I you know I'm not over those drivers, so I don't I can't answer that question. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, the uh, the equipment. Uh, what equipment do you guys offer? What do you mean? Trucks. What what trucks? Uh, do we drivers? we don't have one certain brand of truck that we use. We have different, all different. Would you know Would you know the amenities inside of the trucks? As far as uh, refrigerator, inverter. They have inverters. Oh, okay. No, no, no refrigerators though. Not the not. Some of them do. Some of them don't. Okay. Do they have driver cameras in there? We are starting driver cameras, yes. Is it forward facing or outward facing? Um, I'm not sure. We're just now starting that, so. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the trusts are governed at? Uh, the teams are governed at 72, and I believe the uh, home everyday drivers are at 68. Okay, okay. So that's 68 on the pedal, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, so if I decide to come on, you know, fill out the application, come on, get, you know, mm -hmm. come aboard with you guys, uh, let's say that the, that the marriage between us went south, what would be the policy for me to turn in the truck? Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm only in recruiting. I don't know that policy. Oh, okay. Um, is there, is there any more details that you can, uh, that you could probably give me that I probably haven't, that I haven't touched I on? That's all I can think of. I think you covered them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, where's the home base? Uh, I, Wellington, I, Ohio. Well, okay, so it's off of 70, right? No, off of 71. 71. 71. I, I knew it was either 70 or 71 because I mm -hmm. I drive past you guys all the time. And mm -hmm. I and I see the trucks out, mm -hmm. you know, out there. Um so as far as expedited goes, is 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 that do you guys have straight trucks for expedited? I like I said, I, I'm not an expedited. I'd have to get you to that group. Okay. All right. I I can go over there if 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 you can right. switch me over. When I there. transfer you, just ask for expedited. Okay. Expedited. Got it. Thank you. Thank. Okay. Well, so much for that. Not not much information there. Uh, RNL carriers. They. They they do have a a driving fleet, but they also have a dock fleet, uh, warehouse logistics and stuff like that. Um, they do run truckload, they run LTL, and they do logistics. They do have different lanes. They do have um, they do have different lanes. I'm not sure if they run region or anything like that, but if you run five days on two days off that's probably a certain region for for you drivers out there team drivers of course they they run probably run all over and that will probably be the expedited freight right there and for home everyday drivers uh city drivers local drivers yeah so they don't run cpm they they do percentage so if you guys interested, give them a call. Sorry that I couldn't get much, much more information out of her, uh, being that she was in recruiting and she don't know much. And that's being honest. I really do appreciate your honesty. But, um, but yeah, I wish I could have got a, a little bit more out. So yeah, Meg Quad, uh, Meg Quadi, thank you for the suggestion, man. If you want to know a little bit more about a, uh, a. If you want to know a little bit more about RNL, give them a call, man, and see what's up. If you're in Ohio, definitely give them a call. But they do have terminals all over. Uh, as far as orientation goes, I'm assuming it's going to be in the area that you choose. And sign on bonus, there ain't none. So, RNL, what do you guys think of the call? You know, what do you guys think of the call? Let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. With that said, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit that bell for more content like this. You know what I'm saying? Lock out, man. Mace the call. Don't forget to get me some coffee, all right? Come back at me with another video. Get y'all suggestions.